Today we're going to talk about the Islamic world, multiple Islamic empires that made up the Islamic world. These empires were expanding in the 15th century. To look at the Islamic world, let's break it down. Located in Afro-Eurasia. So if that, that means if you look to the image on the right, there were some Islamic empires in Africa, some up in Europe, and some in Asia. These empires experienced remarkable change in the 15th century while maintaining their traditional patterns. Unlike the need for the Renaissance in Europe and unlike the need for uh, the Ming dynasty to really root back in old traditions, these Islamic empires really maintain their traditions while seeing remarkable change, especially in travel and technology. They controlled major trade routes. So they brought a lot of economic growth to these Islamic states. These smaller empires began to unify. And so we can look at these as one larger Islamic world. The four main empires that we're going to look at today are the Ottoman Empire, the Safid Empire, the Mughal Empire, and the Songhai Empire. We do see a little bit of pushback after the Crusades. Similar to the Mongol rule in China, and then the Ming Dynasty really gaining power to push out the Mongols, we see the Ottoman Empire and these Islamic empires really gaining strength as they push out the Catholics after the Crusades, Christians. The Islamic world. Let's look at the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire is known as the people called themselves Turks. They're located in modern day Turkey and Greece. The official religion of the state was Sun the Sunni version of Islam. They lasted until the 20th century, until World War I, and then we'll see the demise of the Ottoman Empire at World War I. They did consist of diverse people and economic and cultural sophistication. They saw, they saw a lot of different types of people and had a lot of economic success through trade routes and cultural diffusion through these specific trade routes, trade routes created by the Crusades, the Silk Road, which connected them to Asia, the Mediterranean Sea, which allowed trade by sea with Northern Africa, Europe, and the Middle East, and then the Sub-Saharan trade routes connecting West Africa and East Africa. We will see the seizure of Constantinople in 1453. This was a huge moment for the Ottoman Empire, really showed their power on the global scale. Another empire, the Safed Empire, also founded by the Turks, consisted of many Arab people. And they're nestled here, if you look at this image on the right, between the Ottoman Empire and the Mughal Empire. They had a good relationship with the Ottoman Empire through trade. However, their official religion was the Shia or Shiite version of Islam. So there was a little tension between the Ottoman and Safed empires. The Mughal Empire, located in modern-day India, is similar to the Songhai Empire, who we're going to look at in the next slide. They both govern largely non-Muslim populations. So it was an Islamic empire, but a lot of the people who lived there were non-Muslim. We see a large Hindu population in the region, and then we'll also see throughout the 15th century Buddhism move into the Songhai Empire. This was also an empire created by the Turks after they invaded India in 1526, and this empire will see rapid growth. They did have political unity. Even though there were people of different religions and different backgrounds, a lot of political unity until the British took over and had great economic wealth. India is known for their spices and trade connecting to the Middle East and Asia and also um, Europe, so a lot of economic wealth. The Songhai Empire, a little bit more unique because it is located on the western coast of Africa, located in a crucial intersection of the Trans-Saharan trade routes, so covered the trading in Africa. It was Islamic, but not everyone was Muslim, similar to the Mughal Empire. They did, however, become known for their scholars, their teachers, judges, scholars, and other social elites. They really studied the religion of Islam. Songhai, sometimes seen as this, sometimes seen like this with the I or the Y, Songhai represented the Islamic state on the African frontier of expanding Muslim world 
and really pr was proud of their intellect and studying of the religion. Here is another map. You see the Ottoman Empire in the red, the Safed Empire in the purple, the Mughal Empire in the yellow, and then here on the left side is where the Songhai Empire would be. Here's another map. Thanks. Bye.